Right then folks, continuing on again with this big vase theme. I'm going to make another seven pound one. This is just going to be a, a sort of a trumpet shaped one this time. Because it helps. It helps them fit together in the kiln better when you've got some that are that shape and some that are that shape. They sort of slot in well. Because if you make them all the same shape then there's lots of space lost in the kiln. So we'll have a go at one of these. Like I said, seven pound of clay, so we'll just cut centre this up by as always with a big lump coning it up which makes it a lot easier to centre and then just push it back down at the base so I'm leaving about probably a quarter of an inch of thickness at the bottom because obviously we don't turn any of the bottoms of these pots and as usual we're just going to get a bit of this roughly thick stuff up off the bottom dead quickly using a, a heel lift as they call it which is from that part of your hand against your fingers so sort of pushing in with your heel of your hand and sort of the knuckle bit of that finger if you will sort of digs in just lifting it up as you go just to get some of this thick stuff up so again as always Collar it in as we go before we start lifting it. And squeeze it in at the bottom. Get a little bit wide at the bottom, I'll just squeeze it in a bit more. That'll do. Now, as always, the, the knuckle lift, using that knuckle of my right index finger against, the ins against these two or three fingers on the inside, and then sort of using my thumb to stop it from flaring out. Of this, it really you can really get clay up really quickly. So, let's slow the wheel down a bit. I always get an itchy eye when I'm covered in clay. Again, we're just collaring it in every time you lift it to stop it from flaring out. Going to get much more height, you're just getting all the thick stuff up from the bottom. I'll try and form the shape slightly as we go as well, which will mean lifting it inwards to about halfway. Form the shape a bit. 
sort of squeeze it in in the middle part. Just straighten this bit out of the bottom, it's gone a bit. So I'm just squeezing it in so it's it's narrower to the middle and then starts getting wider again to the top. Finally, we just lift it up a bit more, get a bit more height. I need to get a good rest. These pants don't, don't stretch enough. tomorrow when it's drier when I'm turning it I'll turn some sort of indentations into there give it a bit more of a, a design feature so it's a bit more interesting than just a straight sided one So that's about it, that's a quite a simple shape design, like I said tomorrow I can put some, I'll put some grooves in the bottom with this tool, if you can see, so it'll, I'll do, do them in there so there'll be some grooves going up, might even do a bit of chattering on it and stuff, I'll try and film it but I'll probably forget, but anyway that's about it, uh, another £7 vase, different shape.